we're at war. The Triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. The Laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the Triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting punishment. Take those boys over and whack the Triad warlords. Hell, if you get a chance, pop some of their soldiers, too. The inspiration for this next record comes from Dante's Inferno, originally transcribed in Braille to a chaste Trojan monk after he lost his hero. This powerful view can open.
Exactly. Passion. Danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how. Okay, I've had enough of this shit. We're gonna finish the triads and liberty once and for all. Eight balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer. So if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight balls says it's real sensitive. And the slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory will open its gates for a dust cart. So you can drive right in. Park up between the gas canisters and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget. alone for a minute the Colombian cartel is making spanks somewhere in Liberty but we don't know where and they seem to know everything we're doing before we do we got us a rat there's a guy named Curly Bob who works the bar at Luigi's he's been throwing more money around than he's earning he ain't pimping or pushing so he must be talking he usually gets a taxi home after work so follow him and if he's ratting us out kill him on the phones.
so wonderful. I project chocolate milk and cat butter out of my life. I scooted around the house with my legs and behind my head for two days now. But my husband says I look like a sweet exorcist. I even saw the dairy on the top shelf of the bridge so I couldn't reach it with my legs and behind my head now. But I grow weak and start knocking things down with a broom. What can I do, Reed? Do not fret, my child. We are all weak. You certainly are. Shut up, you carnivore. Why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla, Laszlo? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken one. wings. They lived at one with nature and their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts, berries, and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Laszlo, the soul is eternal. But let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by those all you can eat breakfast from bacon. Can we get some bacon in here? Laszlo, I go back to bacon. I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. Hey, that's your business. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, come to movies are dope. How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negativity. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. That way you still fear me. Never know when you might descend from the rafters. Like a bat. I don't want to hear about no tofu running away. I want to learn about being a ninja, kicking people's ass. Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. Where's my see, I once thought like you before my master Where took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. Hey. And the language of the body begins with raw, uncooked organic vegetables. Just look at me. I could tear a phone book in half with my bare toes. In fact, Ladlo, I could easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two inch thick composite wood pulp. Here comes our little friend, Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, I mean. No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, squealer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Forellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore is becoming dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? Tofu, they're being curved at me. Okay, very funny, lad, though. It's easy to make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the feng shui in here. It's downright disgraceful. Yeah, to make me talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Laszlo. That last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you pick him up from? The state loony bin? That wacko you had going on about you. Colombian bastards out, but while we're at war with the triads, we ain't strong enough. The cartel has got bottomless funds from pushing that spank crap. If we make an open attack on them, they'll wipe the floor with us. They must be making spank on that big boat that Curly led you to. So we gotta use our heads, or rather one head, your head. I'm asking you to destroy that spank factory as a personal favor to me, Salvatore Leone. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Go and see 8-Ball. You'll need his expertise to blow up that boat. Here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that Laszlo? Yes, it is. Who's this? 
My name ain't important. It's real unimportant, okay? Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is a radio show. People usually tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. And you want to keep being a wise guy, you'll find out just how unimportant. Like, unimportant, I just got shot. Yo, my man. Salvatore phoned ahead, but a job like this is gonna need a lot of fireworks. I'll need $100,000 to cover expenses. But you know with me, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Come back, brother, when you have the money. Okay, let's do this then. I can set this baby to detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here, this rifle shall help you pop some heads. Really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, um... Well, I want to see the Declaration of Independence. That's phenomenal. Probably one of the reasons there are so many single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. <gasps> oh, wow, I'm on the radio. How exciting. Oh, thank you, Laszlo. Um, is this on the radio? I mean, am I actually on the radio for a second? Uh, uh, yes, you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, man, I mean, what, what, what else? Uh, not really. I mean, what's your name? What did you call about? Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm Maria. You know, Maria, like Mamma Mia. Only different, you know. But, you know, men. M-E-N. <laughs> oh, it's dirty word. Only there's only three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, your broadcasts are all the same, aren't you? I mean, Get a good vantage point. Then I'll head in when you fire the first shot. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm married. Uh, one of those convenience jobs to protect you, I bet. I know what you're all like. You know more about men than I know about leopard skin furniture. So, less of that clever stuff and give me some advice. I mean, come on, I got real problems. You see, okay, I had this boyfriend. And at first, he was real kind to me. He was a real gentleman. A little bit older and everything, but you know, he treated me really good. And then it all went wrong. And so, you know, I found someone else. And he seems real nice, but, you know, he don't talk too much. So, I really can't tell if he likes me. And, well, I guess what I want to know is, you know, how do you tell... Guy is serious. I mean, Central Portland Harbor. All cars in the Portland Harbor. Investigate reported gunfire and explosions. 